Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. Recently, there was uh, what I call hypocritical outrage by Adam Soshomole, former governor of uh, Edo State and now senator of the Federal Republic over the fact that dogs are fed better than prison inmates. But what he failed to realize is that even the prison inmates and the prison dogs are fed better than ordinary Nigerians who have not done anything against the law, who are innocent Nigerians. They are fed worse than the dogs in the prisons and the inmates who many of them had committed offenses while some of them are still awaiting trial. They feel, they feel better than Nigerians. And we're going to see that those people in the prisons and the dogs, they are, in, are, better, are better taken care of than ordinary Nigerians by the All Progressive Congress administration running the country. Now, you know that, uh, as I said earlier, that the former governor of Edo State and now Senate Committee Chairman on, in on Interior, Adam Soshomole, uh, recently expressed outrage that in Nigerian prisons, that dogs are fed better than inmates. He said that it was disheartening to hear that the dogs in the service of the prisons were fed better than any of the 81,000 inmates in prisons across the country. Uh, speaking in Abuja, during the 2024 budget defense session with the Joint Senate and House of Representatives Com Committee, on interior, he expressed surprise at the ugly situation that the prison authorities have 900 dogs across his detention centers and spend 800 naira every day to feed them, while 750 naira is spent on an inmate. He wondered why dogs were better fed than inmates in prison saying that many of whom are awaiting trial. Oshomole noted that that, is, that was why some inmates who are convicted in minor cases leave prisons as hardened criminals because of the inhuman treatment meted out to them. That was Adam Oshomole. Of course, Adam Oshomole is somebody who likes to chase the cloud. And the, 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 the cloud. He like to chase uh, public, uh, uh, like to chase the uh, adoration of the public uh, so that uh, they will say that he's hardworking, he cares about the masses. But that's not what, what his activities in the Senate have shown so far. Because as far as he is concerned, the optics are good for him. There was camera, there was everything. He had to present himself as if he cares about the welfare of the people. Because if Oshomole cares about the welfare of the people, and as a former president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, he would have known that by that, what was revealed in that uh, uh, budget defense that even ordinary Nigerians who are innocent, who have done no wrong, including civil servants, are not even fed better than the dogs and the inmates in the prison. And uh, I'm going to show you why uh, it, it is so. Now, if you look at it, at, in fact, at the rate of uh, feeding dogs and prisoners, we are made to understand that they spend 800 naira a day to feed a dog 
in the prisons, while 750 naira is spent a day to feed, uh, to feed the inmates. But the fact is that the inmates and the dogs are fed better than most Nigerians, including those who are working. In fact, there are many Nigerians today, by that information, they would prefer to be in the prisons than to be on the outside. Because if they can be able to get 750 naira per day to feed, they wouldn't mind. That is not to say that it was enough to feed the prisoners with that amount. But it is just to see where the situation that Nigerians are living in. That Nigerians are indeed living in an open prison. Nigeria is now an open prison for poor Nigerians. Because the dogs in the prisons and the prisoners are fed better than ordinary Nigerians. Including those working for government offices. Civil servants at local government level, at state level, and even at the federal government level. Now let us do the math to show you that the prisoners and the dogs are fed better than ordinary Nigerians. But before I do that, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. And also note that under this video, you're going to see a link that will take you to Jumia. Anything you buy using this link, Jumia is going to give you 40% off from the normal price. Now, let me show you that prisoners and dogs are fed better than civil servants and their families in Nigeria. Now, the national minimum wage of Nigeria is 30,000 naira per month. And in Nigeria civil service, you are expected at least to have a wife and four children. That's what the civil service will recognize. A wife and four children. That means a family of six. So a family of six, giving the wife, husband who is a civil servant with a wife and four children, they are living on 30,000 naira minimum wage a month. It, it means that each family member, if you divide the six members of the family, if you, if you divide 30,000 naira among the six members of the family for a month, it means that each of them is entitled to 6,000 naira, 5,000 naira, okay? That's what is expected to feed every member of that family per month, 5,000 naira, including the one that is working, that's the civil servant, the head of the family. Now, if you now divide that 5,000 naira that each family member gets by 31 days in a month, because 31 days makes a month on the average. If you divide 5,000 naira that each person gets for a month in that family from the minimum wage, it means that every member of that family is going to get, be fed by 161 naira per day. Now compare this figure with the figure that is being used to feed dogs and inmates. You can now confirm what I have said, told you, that in fact, the dogs and inmates are fed better than innocent Nigerians who have done no wrong. Because they are, fed, they are expected to be fed, every one of them, by a day. 161 naira per day. That's what those who are working. And we're not talking about those who are, who are unemployed, doing nothing. We are talking about those who are civil servants getting the minimum wage of 30,000 naira. Now, if you divide the 160, 161 naira per day that is used in feeding every member of the family per day, and you divide it by three, meaning that uh, for breakfast, lunch, 
and dinner, you are getting on the average of 50 naira per meal. That is what federal government of Nigeria and state governments of Nigeria are allocating for the feeding of innocent Nigerians who have done no wrong. They are not in prison. They, are not in, they have not done no wrong. They are being fed per day 50 naira per meal. 50 naira, 50 naira used to feed them per meal. Per meal. And you can now know why Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world. It means that many ordinary Nigerians who are law abiding, they would prefer to be in prison. In fact, they would prefer to be the prison dog so that they can be able to feed. Even those who are working are given 50 naira per meal through the 30,000 naira minimum wage which is higher than what is used in feeding the prisoners and the dogs per meal. So Adam Soshomole was only being uh, dramatic. He, know, he knows what to do. And members of the National Assembly know what to do. And they are not doing it. If they know what, what they are doing, and they are really outraged about the state of the nation. Why would they accept the car, the jeeps that they was bought for them at the estimated amount of 160 million naira each? If Adam Soshomole really care about Nigerians and not that he was being selective in his outrage, he should have known that indeed. Nigerians who are on the outside are worse treated, are worse fed than prisoners and the prison dogs. And then do something about it. Work for a new minimum wage of nothing less than 100,000 naira per month. Nothing less than 100,000 naira per month. Adam Soshomole had been seen as president of Nigerian Labour Congress. But we, Nigerians have not seen his impact when the issue of minimum wage is being discussed. You can see how the government of Bola Metinbu is dribbling the labor. Inst after removing the first subsidy, which was ill-advised the way he did it, they are now giving them some additional change on top, which even if you add it up to what I have just told you, it wouldn't make much difference for what I tell you that prisoners and the, the, the dogs in the prisons are better treated, are better taken care of than those in the outside. It therefore means that Nigeria is indeed an open prison. Nigeria is an open prison by what was revealed in that budget defense. Nigeria is an open prison. Okay? That's what he has shown. So if Adam Soshomole is outraged and the National Assembly members, they are outraged, what they should do now is to pass at least a 100,000 naira minimum wage. And after passing that, they should reduce the cost of governance. Especially the cost of governing this country, which the National Assembly is a major partaker in, 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 in the increasing in increasing that cost. Because if you look at what the National Assembly gets in their budget, you find out that it is highly outrageous. So if they really care about the welfare of prisoners, the dogs in the prison, and then the Nigerian people, who are even treated worse than prisoners and the, and the prison dogs, they should cut the budget of the National Assembly members. That is what they should do. They should reduce the cost of, cost of governance, including the cost of go running the presidency, the cost of running the National Assembly. They should go for a leaner government, a government that reflects the situation of the country, a, governor, a government that reflects the fact that most Nigerians are poor, a, a, a governance that will show that Nigeria is indeed the poverty capital of the world and those running it are 
aware of this and doing something to stop it and not running a government as if the country has so much money to throw around. It is when they do this that we begin to look at Adam Sochomole and co. When they express outrage, we can then understand where they are coming from. At least it will show that they have, they have taken care of those who they are supposed to take care of. But they are living in hopeless. National Assembly lawmakers are living in opulence. The presidents are living in opulence. The government of Bola Metinubu has the largest government in history. The highest number of ministers in history in Nigeria. And they, are not, they don't give a damn about it. They don't try to do anything to reassure Nigeria that look, we are gonna, we're going to run a linear government. You can see over 1,411 people follow them in the Jamboree to, to climb a summit in Dubai. And I have not seen the outrage of Adam Sochomole on that Jamboree. That's what assembly had the right to call them to order, to question the presidency, why he should go with such a large crowd. It has also been said the government itself claimed that it was only for, uh, over 400 something Nigerians that they sponsored. But even 420 something Nigerians is still outrageous because what they went there to do at the summit, at least five or six people could have done it. And we still achieve the result. And now you ask yourself, what have they, what was the benefit of Nigeria by going with, with that large crowd? Is there any special concession that was made to Nigeria because of our large crowd? Of course, we don't know. And they don't even bother to explain that to us. So if Adam Sochomola is, is outrageous about the situation of the nation, he should first of all work to cut the cost of governance and put the uh, the presidency in check. And that's why they were elected in the first place. That's why there are, there are checks and balances in, the, in our democracy. That's why there are separation of powers so that the presidency could be held account, accountable when it goes wrong. And that's the area that Adam, Adam Sochomle should express outrage. Reject the minimum wage. Call the governance course in Nigeria, then we know that Adam Sochomole is serious. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel, I hit the notification bell. Anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours. And please don't forget to to click any link under this video it, that will take you to Jumia. If you click on it and you make a purchase, Jumia will give you 40% because you click and bought the things you want to buy, especially phone from under this uh, uh, video. They will give you 40% off. Thank you and God bless you and yours.